Wormholes, particle physics, extra dimensions. Are the wonders of so-called reality really what they appear to be? Or do we exist in an elaborate hologram? Is our universe the result of random activity or the result of intelligent design? If a creator was involved, can we discover him through our perception of divine order? This is Into the Multiverse with Josh Peck. Hey everybody, welcome to Into the Multiverse. Hope you've had a great week. So we know Bible prophecy talks about asteroids hitting the earth, lots of cataclysmic changes to the earth, uh, very, very violent curses and things. Uh, but what would happen if we tried to actually prevent something like that? If we saw an asteroid coming, we have the technology, why can't we just blow the thing up? Well, that's a common question asked, but uh, turns out that could actually be more harmful. And we might actually see that scenario playing out in Bible prophecy. If you haven't had a chance to do so, make sure you subscribe to this channel, click on the bell for notifications, and just know in case YouTube doesn't notify you, every Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Central, you will get a new episode of Into the Multiverse. So IBM, uh, or excuse me, IB Times uh, just put out this, um, this headline, this story, Scientists Warn of Radioactive Rain of Asteroids on Earth. You know, when we when we read Bible prophecy in the book of Revelation, we, we do see how, like, uh, you know, stars, even plural, uh, fall to earth like a fig tree that's being shaken. Now, of, of course, that has a lot to do with fallen angels, and there's a lot of uh, correlation between angels and stars in uh, in the Bible. Uh, but what if what if there's still a literal element of that? What if this scenario plays out where we actually do try to blow up an asteroid? You know, we try to blow up the Wormwood asteroid, but it doesn't it doesn't work. Uh, what could happen? Uh, turns out, it could possibly be more dangerous. So this uh, story says, a scientist warned that blowing up an asteroid in a last-ditch effort to save Earth could have serious consequences. Aside from causing multiple impact events, this strategy could also cause thousands of radioactive asteroids to rain down on Earth. Uh, now, what makes this very timely and interesting is Tom Horn is releasing a new book called The Wormwood Prophecy, and in a minute, we'll tell you how you can get a hold of that. Uh, but it, it's, it's really important. It's probably his most uh, important book to date, so you want to make sure you check that out. Also, keep your eye out on Skywatch TV, because uh, we just uh, filmed four episodes on this book that you're going to want to see. Uh, so continuing on, and it, it, it's all about this kind of stuff, but uh, continuing on, when it comes to planetary defense, NASA's main plan is to launch a spacecraft and intentionally collide it with an approaching asteroid in the hopes of deflecting it. However, this method will only work as long as the asteroid is detected years before its projected impact. For last-minute defenses, NASA intends to launch a nuclear weapon to destroy the asteroid. However, as pointed out by various scientists, there's a good chance that this plan will fail. And that's provided that they even see it. I mean, there have been asteroids that have hit the Earth that NASA should have been able to see, uh, but didn't. They didn't know that it was there until it collided with the Earth. Now, there hasn't been an extremely cataclysmic you know, one in recent history, but there have been enough which uh, you know, NASA wasn't able to see, that we weren't able to see, which is, is still kind of frightening. I mean, you know, the sky is a big place. I mean, it's literally the space all around the Earth that you'd have to keep track of. It, it, it's a very difficult thing thing to do. Uh, so we, shouldn't, we should not trust in human beings for this type of job. Now, it says, according to cosmochemist Natalie Starkey, even if NASA is successful in reducing the massive asteroid into tiny fragments through a nuclear blast, these small space rocks could still harm Earth. She noted that the explosion from the nuclear weapon could make the asteroid fragments highly radioactive. Uh, she said, according to Express, quote, it may sound like a great solution, but there's a potentially big problem. The resultant shrapnel from such an explosion, however small, would be highly radioactive, so it's probably not something we would want raining down on the planet. Uh, this would almost certainly be the case if we blew up the object at short notice if it was headed towards us, end quote. Now, the nuclear fallout from the radioactive fragments would certainly have adverse effects on the planet as well as its inhabitants. But aside from this, Starkey also warned that depending on the composition of the asteroid, the massive space rock could break up into several chunks instead of tiny fragments following a nuclear explosion. Now, if this happens, uh, Earth could end up being pelted by numerous asteroids causing multiple impact events on different parts of the planet. 
Although these asteroids wouldn't be as big as originally expected, they could still cause significant amount of damage to the ground. Again, think of if we take this kind of literally, you know, th th think of when you shake a fig tree and all the figs come crashing down. You know, Book of Revelation uses that metaphor for a reason. It might, it might also be fallen angels and probably is, but there might be a physical effect of that spiritual cause as we, if we, we have talked about that on, you know, this program many times before. Um, so Starkey says, quote, depending on the composition of the space object, it might fragment into tiny dust-sized pieces that could rain down on Earth, or it might break into just a few large pieces, which, if heading for Earth impact, could make matters worse, uh, end quote. So there is really no good solution. You know, d despite popular belief, there's really no good solution. If we know even years in advance that an asteroid is headed towards Earth, we don't really have a good solution in dealing with that. And everything that we do have is untested and we don't know uh, what could come from it. So what, what do you think? What, what kind of state do you think that the Earth is in, in the book of Revelation, where an asteroid hits and we're not able to deflect it? What do you think is going on? Do you think that it is an asteroid or maybe it's just talking about a fallen angel and nothing more? I tend to believe it's a little bit of both, but I'm curious to know what you think. Please leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of the word Wormwood prophecy and other prophecies about stars falling to the earth. What do you think that's all about? While you're there, make sure you subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and just know that every Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Central, you'll get a new episode of Into the Multiverse. All right, everybody, till next week. Thank you so much. Take care. God bless. I intend to share undisclosed facts that are stranger and scarier than most people can comprehend and it is going to shake the public to the bone. And yes, this involves a cover-up of the highest order by national space agencies, including NASA. Asteroid is 100% certain to strike Earth, according to one space expert who says this is a matter of life and death. You'd probably have millions of casualties. Is a planet killing asteroid a possibility? NASA has determined that the threat is real. And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains of waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. And many men died of the waters. Chief technology experts and working scientists agree with me. But what's more concerning is that this was prophesied in the Bible for the end times. NASA, Donald Trump, and a cosmic cover-up of end times proportions. Skywatch TV is proud to announce the largest giveaway of the year, the Project Wormwood Grand Giveaway. When you order Dr. Thomas Horn's new book, The Wormwood Prophecy, from the Skywatch TV store, you'll also receive on DVD. The entire four-part Skywatch TV series on The Wormwood Prophecy, featuring Dr. Thomas Horn and Derek and Sharon Gilbert. But we're just getting started. You'll also receive the never before released Best of Defender Publishing ebook collection on Data Disc, featuring 70 of the most information packed best selling books in Defender history. These full length works are in popular ebook format so you can read them on EPUB, PDF, Kindle, and other handheld electronic devices. Give this collection as the ultimate gift to somebody you know this holiday season or take them with you wherever you go. Valued at over $700 all by itself. 
But that's not all. With the holidays just around the corner, now's your chance to save big and receive a massive collection of merchandise. Also included in the Wormwood Grand Giveaway is a gargantuan supply of brand new super quality overstock gift books, DVDs, audio sets, survival and organic living books to add to your library or to give away as gifts this holiday season. Sold separately, these items hold a retail value of over $900. Yours now for your donation of only $35 plus shipping and handling. This is the largest giveaway of the year and will be available only while supplies last, so don't delay. The Project Wormwood Grand Giveaway, available now at skywatchtvstore.com. Order now or call 1-844-750-4985.